The bloodline relative is facing serious health issues, major new details about Matt Riddle's recent WWE exit, Edge stays loyal to WWE. Backstage note on Jade Cargill's WWE debut, Nia Jax feuds with latest WWE signing, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits bashed, Roman Reigns is in trouble. Let's jump right into it. Major new details about Matt Riddle's recent WWE exit. There has been plenty of chatter surrounding what led to the shocking exit of Matt Riddle from WWE, and now a few more details have surfaced about the situation. Sports Kita Wrestling Wrestling's Bill Actor exclusively reported that Riddle's past issues in UFC, which is now merged with WWE, may have led to the two companies jointly deciding to let go of the original bro to avoid any future trouble. The former United States champion accused one of the officers at the JFK airport of sexually assaulting him a few days back. Reports later suggested that Riddle was under the influence of alcohol during the incident. After a couple of weeks of absence from Raw, Matt Riddle announced his exit from WWE. The fans have expectedly been talking about his departure ever since, with many wondering what he could have achieved in the company in the long run. On the latest episode of Sports Kita Wrestling's Unscripted, Bill Actor presented another reason that reportedly played a role in Matt Riddle parting ways with WWE. I found out through many sources that one of the reasons that Matt Riddle was probably let go wasn't just the JFK airport incident, but Dana White has come out and said that he was a problem kid in MA back then. And I think now that the companies have merged with each other, I think it was a joint decision that if it is worth having this kid, maybe give us some trouble here, said Actor. While speaking on his podcast, Hall of Fame, Booker T did not mince any words before saying that Riddle became a liability for the global wrestling juggernaut. The WCW legend mentioned that he was not surprised to see the original bro they released, saying he put himself in a position where WWE was left with no other option. There is only so much that is going to be tolerated. It catches up to you, you become a liability. I was not shocked or surprised this happened. You put yourself in a position for something to happen. Nine times out of ten it will happen, said Booker T. However, it remains to be seen what lies ahead for Matt Riddle, and if he makes his way to any other promotion down the line. Do you see the original bro? possibly showing up in a EW in the near future? Sound off in the comments section below. Edge stay loyal to WWE. Contrary to recent rumors, wrestling veteran Bill Actor believes Edge might not take his talents to AEW out of his loyalty to WWE. The rated R superstar's last WWE match went down on the August 18 edition of SmackDown, where he defeated Sheamus in a clash for the ages. Since then, there's been plenty of speculation about Edge's contract expiring by the end of September, following which he would leave the company for AEW. As per recent rumors, he's closer than ever to inking a deal with All Elite Wrestling. However, Bill Actor doesn't think the veteran joining Tony Khan's promotion would become a reality. On the latest episode of Sports Kia's Unscripted, Aptor stated that he doesn't see the Hall of Famer join AEW due to his loyalty to WWE. To me, I think Edge will stay loyal to WWE. That's just my feeling, said Bill Aptor. Waller might have fallen short against the rated R superstar on his main roster debut, but he intends to have another match with the legend. In a recent interview, Grayson Waller claimed he was working hurt during his bout with the former WWE champion, and as such, wanted to take him on again. That was a huge Huge match. Main event Madison Square Garden, my main roster debut, all those big things. Also, my first match back from a broken leg. So, you know, he's going against a 70% Grayson Waller. Everyone saw what I could do at 70%. I really want to get back in there with him when I'm 100% and get in there when I'm at my best, when I'm ready to go, said Waller. Considering Edge seems to be on his way out of WWE, it remains to be seen if Waller's desire to have a rematch materializes anytime soon. Do you see the WWE Hall of Famer join AEW? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Backstage note on potential Jade Cargill WWE debut. Former TBS champion Jade Cargill recently signed with WWE. Since then, there have been a lot of rumors going around about her debut in the company. After a lot of speculation, Cargill finally signed a contract with WWE. The Stanford-based promotion has been heavily posting about her since the announcement of her arrival. However, no one knows where or how she is going to make her debut. According to a recent report by Ringside News, they got in touch with a tenured member of the creative team to ask about Jade Cargill's potential debut. They were told that there are a lot of rumors going around inside the company as well because no one knows if Cargill will make her debut on NXT or directly go to the main roster. Cargill was recently asked about her debut as well, but the star did not disclose it and encouraged fans to tune into every network. During a recent interview with ESPN, Jade Cargill said that she is interested in a match against Bianca Belair and believes it can definitely be a WrestleMania headliner. I am interested in facing Belair, and it's definitely a WrestleMania main event. That's something that will have people glued to their television screen. That's something that will have people buying out stadium. That's a dream match and I think people will show up and show out for that one, said Cargill. Fans believe WWE has promoted Jade Cargill more than Cody Rhodes. How do you think Jade Cargill will possibly make her debut in the pro wrestling juggernaut? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.
Nia Jax feuds with latest WWE signing. Veteran wrestling journalist Bill Apter recently spoke about his desire to see Jade Cargill lock horns with Nia Jax in her first feud in WWE. The former AEW TBS champion signing was announced recently, and since then, fans have been curious to see what lies ahead for her in the Stanford based promotion. While there is still time before Cargill steps foot inside the ring, she has been training at WWE's Performance Center. This has certainly not stopped fans from cooking up dream scenarios for her. On Sportskeeda's unscripted, Bill Apter opened up about what he would like to see Jade Cargill do upon debuting for the global wrestling juggernaut. The veteran journalist stated that Cargill could get into a feud with Raw superstar Nia Jack. He explained that the two could create the iconic Hulk Hogan Andra the giant body slum spot from WrestleMania 3, with the former AEW star laying down Jack. If I book it, it's going two different ways. The first could be the quick kill. As you know, Nia Jax is causing disruption in the women's division. She's destroying everyone. What if Bobby Lashley, who's very upset at his crew right now, brings Jade in, and she comes to the ring and does the Hogan and her thing and picks up Maya Jax, dumps her. Boom. Statement made, said Bill Apter. Moreover, witnessing the hype of the WWE Universe after her signing, it would be safe to say that Cargill is destined to become a major player in WWE's stacked women's division. Do you think having Jade Cargill feud with Maya Jax would be a good idea? Let us know in the comments section below. Becky Lynch is on Seth Rollins accepting Shinsuke Nakamura's Fastlane Challenge. As confirmed on Raw, Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura will meet inside the ring again in a last man standing match at Fastlane 2023, and WWE has now released some intriguing footage of Becky Lynch's backstage reaction during Rollins' recent segment. Becky Lynch has been mentioned in the ongoing World Heavyweight title feud, as Shinsuke Nakamura has been ruthless in his conquest to break Seth Rollins. The Japanese star has specifically targeted Rollins' injured back and claim in multiple promos that Lynch probably knows his husband has been in constant pain. The rivalry between Rollins and Nakamura has gotten really personal, and many fans would have been curious to know what Lynch thinks about the upcoming match. WWE's Instagram handle put out a short clip of the man reacting to Rollins' Raw promo. The NXT Women's Champion looked very serious at the gorilla position as she watched Rollins respond to Nakamura. Lynch approved of the bout with a nod at the end of Seth Rollins' address. After wrapping her program with Trish Stratus, WWE decided to utilize Becky Lynch to boost NXT's star power, and thus far, the plan seems to be working phenomenally well. Lynch challenged Tiffany Stratton for the NXT Women's Championship on the September 12th episode and accomplished one of the few things that had eluded her all this while in WWE. The title change helped NXT increase its viewership figures, which has furthermore been assisted by WWE featuring the women's storyline on Raw. The developmental brand's next big event, No Mercy 2023, is slated for September 30th, and Tiffany Stratton will have an opportunity to regain the belt she lost. It won't be easy, however, for the 24-year-old as she would have to beat Becky Lynch in an extreme rules match. A few days later, Rollins will put his world heavyweight title on the line against Nakamura in a last man standing showdown. Do you see WWE's power couple retaining their respective championship belts? Share your predictions in the comments section below. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits Bashed WWE Hall of Famer Booker T has confessed to not being a fan of the alliance between Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits on SmackDown. The almighty return to the blue brand and ally with the Street Profits, marking the fan favorite tag team's heel turn. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins are growing into their villainous characters, with Lashley leading the charge. However, Booker T has reservations about the trio. The Hall of Famer is conflicted as he feels that Bobby Lashley, Montez Ford, and Angelo Dawkins make for a great combination. However, he is not too fond of the group on SmackDown. Booker T urged the trio to be more aggressive to make for dominant heels. He discussed this alliance on a recent edition of the Hall of Fame podcast and said, I'm still conflicted with, you know, Street Profits and Bobby together. I mean, it's a great combination, you know, they got a lot in common. Let's just say that they're all brothers, but I don't know. I'm not too fond of the group just because I'm looking for some D and Sanders. I'm like Coach Prime, I'm looking for some dogs, man, and if you ain't one of them dogs, you might want to start applying to another university. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits recently made a statement on SmackDown while standing across from the Judgment Day. The former world champion insisted that his group will replace the Bloodline as the top heel faction in WWE and not the championship-laden stable from Raw. Last week on SmackDown, the Street Profits locked horns with the United States champion and Santos Escobar in a tag team match. Bobby Lashley appeared halfway through the match. The bout's closing moments saw the almighty run interference, but Dawkins failed to capitalize. The Street Profits lost the match, which left Bobby Lashley fuming at ringside. He issued an ultimatum to Dawkins, urging him to get his act together. The latter is still skeptical of adopting heel techniques in his matches, but things could change soon on WWE SmackDown. Roman Reigns is in trouble. Roman Reigns defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 to retain his undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The company recently signed a 31-year-old AE 
AEW star and fans hilariously believe that the Bloodline leader could be in trouble following the signing. Roman Reigns has been dominating as the top champion in the Stanford-based promotion for the past three years. He's gone through many top names to cement himself as the top superstar in the company. The Bloodline has been built around him over the past two years, and the faction has helped him win several of his matches. WWE recently announced that the company has signed former AEW star Jade Cargill. The 31-year-old has proven herself as one of the top women in the wrestling industry, and fans have a lot of expectations for her. Cargill is also one of the strongest female wrestlers in the industry today. That has allowed fans to fantasy book her against some of the top males, even though she has not competed in intergender matches. The news of Jade Cargill's signing by the company sent fans into a frenzy. Many started to talk about the rivalries she could build up against the top women of WWE, such as Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, and Rhea Ripley. Meanwhile, others started to joke about the potential of seeing her against the men of the company. This prompted some fans to hilariously react to Cargill potentially standing up when the Bloodline leader calls for a worthy challenge for his undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Some fans pointed out that Jade Cargill could finish the story before Cody Rhodes. Others said that she could finally do what China always dreamt of achieving in WWE. Cody Rhodes and Jade Cargill are known to be very close to each other. He was one of the reasons why Cargill decided to make the jump to WWE from AEW. Meanwhile, Roman Reigns is currently without any challengers, and the Bloodline leader has been off television for some time. The company could book a short face-off between Reigns and Cargill to help the latter get a big push immediately. Roman Reigns was last seen on August 11, 2023 episode of SmackDown. The episode saw Jay Uso quit, following which fans have seen him return to Raw, but the tribal chief has still been missing. The Bloodline could finally see their leader return on October 13, 2023. The Belk Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma has announced that Reigns will appear on the October 13 edition of Friday Night SmackDown. However, the fans would have to wait to see what the future holds for Tribal Chief and his faction. The Bloodlines Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso are set to take on John Cena at Fosslane 2023 before Roman Reigns' next appearance. The result of the contest could play a major role in the undisputed WWE Universal Champion's return. Do you want to see an intergender match between Jade Cargill and Roman Reigns? Sound off in the comments section below. The Bloodline relative is facing serious health issues. The current four members of the Bloodline faction, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Roman Reigns, and Solo Sikoa are currently active on WWE TV. However, a relative of the four Anoe wrestling family, Afa Anoe Jr. Akamanu, is facing some serious health issues as shared by 31-year-old Lance Anoa'i. The 39-year-old member of the Simone dynasty is best for his main roster tenure in WWE from 2007 to 2009. Manu has shared the ring with Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Matt Hardy, and others. The MLW star recently took to his Twitter to share upsetting news about the bloodline relative. Lance noted that Afa Jr. was rushed to the hospital on September 23, stating that he had undergone a severe and unexpected complex cardiac issue. As per the GoFundMe page set up to support Afa Jr., the former WWE superstar had numerous tests and serious cardiac operations. His cardiac injection fraction is barely 35%, and his heart is filling up with fluid by the hour. Afa has a lengthy road to rehabilitation, significant medical expenditures and medications required. The 31-year-old superstar has encouraged fans to make contributions to the life-threatening illness of Roman Reigns' cousin. In a conversation with Tantalizing Tommy, the 39-year-old shared how he has been in the wrestling business for the past 25 years. Alfred explained that his experience in the wrestling business had been carved out successfully without Roman Reigns and his faction. I don't necessarily look at it like I have to live up to the legacy of the family name, Alpha Anoa Jr. said. I look at it as I have to create my own road to this legacy. We all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses. Roman, he's made it to the top of the game in the WWE. I've made it to the top of the game without them. I stayed relevant for the last 25 five years without them, he said. It remains to be seen how long it will take Afa Anoe Jr. to get back to in-ring action ahead of his recovery process. We wish Afa Anoe Jr. a speedy recovery. Do you think Manu will ever join WWE's bloodline? Sound off in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted